All right, so I just got this one terabyte SSD in today from Crucial, and we're going to be installing this in this laptop today, and let's get straight into the installation process. So just start removing all of the screws in the laptop. Okay, so now that all the screws are taken out, we're gonna wanna start prying the back plate off. And if, it, if it's your first time doing this, you might need like a prying tool or maybe a flathead screwdriver. But if you've done this quite a few times, this should come off pretty easily. As you can see here, I've done this quite a bit of times. And do it, just do it very lightly all around until it comes off. And so you get a better look of the SSD itself. And it has the MX in the background and it's a very shiny actually. It's a two and a half inch. And these are the details and the model number, all that good stuff. But yeah, back to the bracket. So if there was a gap in your laptop and it's basically, if it's like wobbling around, like just with the SSD in there, you could use this to fill in that gap. So yeah, I'm not sure if we'll need this, but we'll just try it with the SSD itself and see how that works out. All right guys, before we start touching anything, um, I like to just remove the battery cable. And I like to do that because when I tried to, um, I believe it was a video by Acer that Acer made themselves about installing a two and a half inch drive in your laptop. They first said to disconnect your battery, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do as they say. All right, so there's gonna be one, two, three and four screws here for the mounting bracket. So you wanna just start removing those. All right guys, so this bracket actually only fits one way, so that's a good. That way we don't get confused which way it goes. So yeah, let's set that aside for now. So the next step here is to put the actual, you see the connector here as I was showing earlier, you wanna just get that on there. So we've got one screw in there. Okay, so the four screws are secured onto the bracket, and we're gonna be doing this again. There you go. All right, so that feels a lot better. All right, so this is what I'm talking about. So it's closed right now. So that's in the closed position and this is in the open position. So there you go. So this side right here that says HDD or SSD, you wanna make sure that is going to the actual drive that you got. And the side that's labeled MB, which I actually don't know what that stands for, but that's going to the motherboard itself. So let's go ahead and install this. Okay, so we're gonna put this in, and I'm just doing this so you guys can see this. So it's kinda hard to do this with one hand, but we're gonna do it anyways. So here we go. It should slide in down here, and there you go. So right there, it would be fully inserted. And all you wanna do is just close this latch right here. And that is all you do. make sure it is closed and then you just do the same thing for the other side and when you're installing the cable that connects the SSD to the motherboard you want to make sure that the letters are facing towards you and not the other way around all right that feels super secure so yeah we did not disconnect the power nothing like that all we messed with was the bracket so we can go ahead and put this back and that is the wrong way geez I am catching out All right guys, so here we, are, here we are at the home screen, and this is actually a very simple process here. So what you're gonna wanna do is go down here to the little Windows icon, start, 
and you're going to type in the search bar you're just going to type computer or if you just put comp uh, it'll detect the computer management up here but yeah the end goal is to get to computer management so click on that and this should pop up and what we're looking for here is storage more specifically disk management and you're gonna see right here that all right so you're gonna see right here that I have disk 1 which I believe it is my m.2 drive I believe so I'm not sure and this first one the one that says unallocated that means this one is not set up yet or at least I, I think that I know I think that's what it means I'm not really sure but it's unallocated so I'm gonna right click on it and you're gonna do new simple volume and it'll bring up this page right here to the wizard you click next and here I do not understand what that is just click next and right here I'm just gonna go ahead and click next new volume label so here you can actually name it so yeah I'm gonna do that click next and finish and that should be it uh, and there you go I mean that is that's it that's all you do and yeah all right so that is it guys thanks for watching I hope this video helped you guys a lot and I will see you guys in whatever the next video will be